Around Arkansas, the busy season for the Buffalo National River quickly approaching. Caitlin Sinet spoke with rangers who are stressing the importance of planning ahead and what can happen if you don't. If you plan to come out and float down the Buffalo National River, park rangers are asking that one, you bring a life vest, and two, you figure out how far down the river you plan to float ahead of time. Arkansas law requires that if you're in a boat on the river, if you're 12 and under, you're required to wear a Coast Guard approved life jacket. And if you're 13 or older, you're required to have a proper fitting life jacket that's easily accessible to you in the boat. But a park ranger with the river says that law does not just apply to canoes and kayaks, it also applies to inner tubes. The visitor centers and stations along the Buffalo River will loan out jackets to visitors who need them. You can get a $130 ticket if you don't follow the life jacket law. If you plan to float on a tube, the park rangers say it's best to only go about a mile and a half and make sure your tube is durable. Any longer than a mile and a half and people get tired and realize they don't have enough supplies with them. If you don't plan ahead, you can reap the consequences, which might include an unexpected overnight stay. I would much rather spend time um, helping people plan an appropriate trip now than have us spending time later in the summer rescuing you. Um, it puts our rangers in harm's way as well to go out after dark to rescue people. And so if you are in that situation, there is the potential that you may have to spend the night out on the river. And that's a hard lesson to learn. All right, that was Caitlin Sinet reporting.